All right, so let's talk about exact ODEs. So what are exact first order differential equations? So let me give you a form. So exact differential equation will appear to be in this form. So you have some, uh, say, function of f of x, y plus another function g of x, y times y prime is equal to zero. Now what you can do is you can rewrite the derivative part as dy dx. So you can write it as f of x, y plus g of x, y dy dx is equal to zero. And then we can multiply both sides by the differential dx. So you would have f of x, y dx plus g of x, y dy is equal to zero. Now that's how you want the function to be written. Now, what you can do, we're gonna rewrite the function f and g so that it's easier to remember uh, what we're going to do in, in a few seconds. So I'm gonna rewrite this function as m and this function as n. And then, so from here, we're going to rewrite it one more time. So you have the function m times dx plus the function n times dy equal to zero. Now here's what you're going to do. You're going to take the function m and take its partial derivative respect to y and check that it is exactly equal to the partial derivative of n respect to x. If that is true, then you're going to say that this differential equation is exact. And then we can proceed to the exact method. But pretty much that's the idea you wanna conclude when you're testing if a differential equation is exact. Now, let's take a look at our first example. So here I have an example for us. We have some function tagged with dx and some function tagged with dy equal to zero. Nice, it's exactly in the form that we want. And we're going to label them. Let's call this function m because it's tagged with dx and this function n because it's with dy. Now we're going to check if this is an exact equation. So take the function m and take its partial derivative respect to y. So let's see what we get. So if I take the partial derivative respect to y, well, derivative of x will be zero, negative two x y, now x is a constant. So if you differentiate, you will have um, negative two x. And then if you differentiate e to the y respect to y, it's just going to be e to the y. All right, so that's m y. Now for n respect to x, we're going to get what? So if I take the derivative of y, that's zero. Derivative of negative x squared, well, that's going to be negative two x. And then if I take the derivative of x e to the y, again, y is a constant, so that will just be plus e to the y, because all of that is treating as a constant. So yeah, this is exactly the same function, so therefore we say this is exact. All right, so that now that we figure out it is exact, now let's proceed to the method. The method is you're looking for this function that will solve this differential equation. So how do we find this function? Well, there are two ways you can do it. So this function, we're gonna call it a phi. And this function, you can find it by either integrating m, the function m respect to x, or you can choose to integrate the other piece. So you can find phi by integrating n respect to y. And the procedure is almost similar depending on which function you pick. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pick the first function m and then follow from there. So we're gonna replace m with um, so we're integrating m, which is x minus 2xy plus e to the y. And we're integrating this respect to x. All right, so that will give us the function phi. So if I integrate x respect to x, we have one half x squared. And then if I integrate negative 2xy, again, y is a constant, respect to x, we're going to get 
negative 2x squared over 2. So the 2 will cancel out. That will just be x squared times y. And then if I integrate e to the y, again, that's a constant. If I do a respect to x, I will just get x times e to the y. Now, of course, we're going to plug in. We're going to add an integration constant. But instead, we're going to write a function, a function of the other variable, which is y. Somehow, you want to bring in n into the picture. So now, the key idea here is to solve for this function g. And then we almost have the function we're looking for. Now, I'm going to go ahead and take the partial derivative of phi respect to n, because we already worked with m here. Now we need to bring an n into the picture. So let's take the partial derivative of phi respect to n, oh, uh, y. So that way we have g prime into the picture. So you have the derivative respect to y. Uh, that will be negative x squared because the first term will go to zero. And then the second term will just give us plus x e to the y plus g prime of y. And you're going to set this equal to the function n since we haven't used n yet. Now, what is n equal to? Well, n happens to be uh, this function right here, y minus x squared plus x e to the y. So we have y minus x squared plus x e to the y. So let's just double check that. Yep, that's correct. So once I set these two equal, you can see I, we can cancel our like terms on both sides. These will cancel out. And then x e to the y will also cancel out. So what we're left with for the function g prime of y is just y. Now to actually solve for this function g of y, we can integrate on both sides, respect to y, and that will give us the g function. So g of y is equal to 1 half y squared. And of course, there is an integration constant c, but we're going to add that at the end. So that's the function g we're going to plug in to our solution phi. So let's put all of this together. So we have our final solution is going to be phi is equal to 1 half x squared minus x squared y plus x e to the y plus g of y. Well, what is g of y? g of y is the function we just found, which is 1 half y squared. So that is the solution. But of course, if you look into the theories, you will know that this phi is nothing other than a constant function. We're going to call that a constant function c. So c is equal to 1 half x squared minus x squared y plus x e to the y plus 1 half y squared. So there you have the solution. So that will be our solution to this differential equation. Okay. All right. So I hope this makes sense. So that's it for this video.